Hey everyone, it's Daryl from Houseplant Journal, and today I'm going to show you how to understand watering when there's no drainage hole. One common question is, do I really have to have drainage holes in my pot? And people usually say, yes, you must have it, and so much to the point where you're like drilling into ceramics and stuff like that. But when you understand a little bit more about how soil moisture works, then these rules become just suggestions. Here I have my rabbit's foot fern. Now, some people would rather call this a tarantula fern, but it's planted inside this glass coffee pot. I think it's for coffee, yeah. But anyway, there are definitely no drainage holes, and yet it has been growing like this for the past three years. Now, of course, getting the right light is the first step to everything. And once you have the right light, now you need to understand how to water this thing. And so in order to do that, I'm going to show you something about how soil holds moisture. So we can think about soil as though it were a sponge. If we were to pour in lots of water and there was drainage holes, then once the soil has absorbed all the water it can, the excess will be draining away out the drainage holes. So if we don't have drainage holes, then the idea is we want to only add the amount of water that will fully saturate the soil and not any more than that, since the excess water doesn't have anywhere to go. So the way that I explored exactly how much water does soil hold is I weighed out different types of soil when they're completely dry. So here I have some peat moss with a bit of perlite, and because we're using an example with sphagnum moss, I have some completely dry sphagnum moss. So I would weigh out both of these in a particular container. Then I put both of these under the tap and just soak them until they were totally soaked and absorbed all the water that they could. And also notice that there are drainage holes out of these cups. Then I weighed the fully saturated planting medium. So then the difference in weight would be the amount of water that this soil is currently holding. The last step is to pour out that water into an identically shaped container. So that way I can kind of get an estimate of the volume of water as a ratio of the total volume of planting medium. But now back to my rabbit's foot fern. Here I have this volume of sphagnum moss. So it means that when I pour the amount of water in, I'm gonna aim for something a little less than half the total volume of sphagnum moss here. And that's how I water this rabbit's foot fern that has no drainage holes. You see, even if you know the amount of water that's going to fully saturate the soil, you need to remember that that water needs to get used up. The point is, the water won't get used up unless it's getting the right light. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next one. And if you're interested in personalized plant advice, I'll leave a link below. I'm Daryl, thanks for watching. Bye.